All right, I'll try to keep an eye out uh, on the camera um, battery, basically. Um, yeah, Leo was over there on the other side. I was going to do the cam uh, this video upstairs, but it's great. Well, it's not that much cooler down here, but um, just that slight difference, like about a degree or two. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Uh, it's, and also the humidity is kicking in. Holy shoot, man. I was... Um, I hadn't even started biking home. I was like, um, I'm already feeling it, which is not a good sign. Anyway, so this is going to be like a multiple, whatever, a multiple pickup, uh, whatnot. Uh, you're not going to see that magazine. Probably not. He enjoy, he enjoy, is enjoying it. Leo, while he's enjoying something else right now. A uh, war gaining journal. Uh, well, you guys know about that. Um, war diary or whatever. It, um, I'll be honest with you. This is going to be the first article that I've read um, from beginning to end from their magazine, not because um, they're not a good magazine, my god, not even close. Uh, the first year that I subscribed to them, I only did it electronically, and I just, I'm just i just not into uh, that, so I was like, I, like, I'll just go back. And then the second year, uh, so far, they, they've been f my way, and maybe I haven't been paying enough attention, probably not, is... Um, uh, they didn't, there's been a lot of non-Great War related articles, so I'm like, okay, mind you, I mean, they're only a quarterly as far as I remember. Anyways, they did a whole thing on, uh, I haven't finished reading it yet, but I'll tell you one thing, it's going to be mentioned uh, on the next live stream, holy smokes, the Gobin and uh, the Breslau, <clears throat> excuse me, really, I've got maybe halfway through the article. It is darn good. It was weird. The first page, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope the guy starts talking about, uh, like, what ifs, and he, that's what he gets into. So there we go. Um, I had, I didn't realize that I had already picked this up. Um, yeah, you're going to maybe see my superhero socks. I thought maybe it'd be better than my ugly feet, because I'm not a, I'm not sitting down much. But, um, you know, anyways, uh, pop on the superhero socks. Uh, I got these superhero socks from my boss uh, due to the fact that we're the micro team, the CHS micro team. But it's a long story. Yeah, oh my God, I think I don't know if I told you about it. I even made T-shirts for us. Um, we're the Wonder Twins, so it's like micro teams powers activate. I think I mentioned that before. Oh, we just have a blast. I love it. Anyways, so this is going to be going out to Crispy Galactic. I didn't realize I had a second copy. And the interesting thing is that he mentioned he loved the other uh, cover, that really almost psychedelic looking thing. But this looks very similar, so maybe it's the same publisher uh, of the um, uh, the Price of Glory that I have from... I just sent out the war, the trilogy Manry Mike was mentioning. I was just talking about it last Saturday, I think. Oh, darn it. And I'm not going to look towards my bookshelf to try to remember who the person is, but I would love to. Uh, I know Crispy Galactic has the 1870-Austro-Prussian um, uh, uh, War. Uh, sorry, the Franco-Prussian War. Um, jeepers, jumping. I can see almost. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So last week I picked this up at the, uh, I'll put in quotes, the thrift shore, uh, store. Because, like, come on, man. Oh, sorry, I can almost see his name again. Uh, Robert Graves, a good... I thought I had it. I don't think so. So I'm like, okay, done. And this is the problem with that thrift store, is the fact that if you buy four, you get a fifth free. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, of uh, uh, same value or less. Anyways, I don't think I have this. Uh, but Zoe Dufour was with me, and she was like, wow, does that ever... I like that cover. I'll take a look. I think I have World War I poems, but not the poetry of... Or, like, something like that. Um, Baptism of Fire, the second bottle of uh, Ypres. And this is going to go into my uh, Canadian... Uh, uh, Canadian uh, Great War section, just off to, off to there. It's actually getting pretty good there. Right on. Oh, God, it is so and cool to have like subsections of my great war collection sorry i just get i'm just like whoa anyways and i think i mentioned this i also got this last week uh causes of war and in, well an introduction uh it is i haven't read it in the past couple of days i've been uh, focused on other stuff but sorry someone's weed whacking like a lunatic um Darn good book. Uh, there's concepts in here that I'm having a difficult... Oh, darn it. I wanted to start off with the best and 
then go into the middle and but I'm going sequentially from the top of the stack to the bottom it seems hold on I'm gonna go and see if I can turn on uh, just shut the front window that should help hold on I'll be honest with you, I'm so like, let's put it this way, I put noise cancelling headphones on when I use the blender. I'm not a, I should really be in the like, out in the woods or something because I'm just not into like noises. But I love, I love listening to music super loud, so go figure that out. Um, yeah, I'm so not zen, it's not funny. Like there's, <laughs> I'm like so far away from Buddhism, it's ridiculous. And this came in this week, or today, uh, the Stand To Magazine, uh, the latest edition um, from the Western Front Association. I also picked this book up last week, and it is freaking amazing. Uh, Knights of the Air, I didn't realize how good it would be. Like, there's some really good artwork. Uh, tons of stories, like amazing photos. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm like, what the hell? Like, I just, I can't wait to look at this one, knock me. But did I use, no, I wanted to use this. This is the one I've been, uh, for several days, actually wanted to use it for the poster of the day. Speaking of which, oh my God, I completely, well, I didn't completely forgot. I forgot to down or transfer the file for uh, July 30th. Um, um, uh, the preceding events uh, leading up to uh, the Great Britain declaring war on the 4th of April. And so that's that. I didn't do it, and now I'm even backtracking again because I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the best I can. But, uh, oh my God, the third Australian tunneling company in the last hundred uh, days. Um, what do you want me to say about the Western Front Association? Um, they're so big and so powerful and whatever. Do you honestly believe they just um, focus on the Western Front? Not even close. Uh, not even close. I gotta, I, yeah, anyways, forget it. Um, uh, like side, side note. I've been working a little bit more on my um, newspaper ideas and I think it's gonna come uh, doing better. I like my new banner. I don't know, if, like I'm, like I said, I'm still going to, I'm going to talk to people and go, what do you think? Do you think, uh, you know, like all, I, I want it to look nice. Um, eye fatigue wise, like how do you, people scan the page, the whole nine yards. So far for this, I like the border. So you can see it's Morse code for WW1, World War One. Uh, the World Independent News, and then, uh, which would be WIN, which I just, just knocks my socks off. Uh, and then your monthly two cents worth. It used to be uh, weekly, but it had to be realistic. Hello, puss. What you up to, you? Right? And like I said, this is just early days, but I'm liking the B. I'm, I'm liking it. Hello, you. Can I pop you back on the whatevers? He's been well fed, and he feels very, 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 very heavy. Huh? For a three legged tailless cat? <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, and I also picked this up today at a uh, bookstore, which I've been going to for decades. I don't go to them often because they are relatively expensive. Um, and I even said to the person today when I went to uh, the bookseller and uh, picked these the two books up, and I went, <sighs> I said I had to get, I had to leave. I said I have to leave now. Um, and he went, oh, I know, you said you're into the Great War. And there's hardly anybody is buying any books from the Great War. Uh, they're interested in other things. There's tons of stuff been sitting down there for years. I'm like, well, first off, maybe you should give it to me cheaper then. And secondly, like, don't tell me that. Because, I, or, well, thirdly, I'm glad you did. But um, that book, this bookstore here um, used to be... Uh, way further south on Bank Street. Now it took over an old uh, Italian restaurant, which used to be a movie, th uh, no, there were, used to be a movie theater beside it, the Rialto. My very first Doctor Who movie I got to see there, a triple feature sci-fi. I got to see Buck Rogers in the 25th century, got dropped off by my dad and all by myself. Um, I watched three movies in a row. I don't know how old it was, maybe 10 or 11. Um, well, we could date it. We can go backwards and find out. This is probably older than that. Um, 
Then I saw, right after that, Battlestar Galactica, which... So both movies I absolutely adore, but Battlestar Galactica, and, and then the icing on the cake was Doctor Who and the Daleks, and that effed me up because I didn't realize it was not following Doctor Who canon. It was an Americanized version. Well, it was a movie made for American type audiences, and I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, the Doctor is in this, the Doctor is in that, but I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe I get to see Doctor Who on a major screen. My God, was my stomach effed up. Imagine that, like I watched three movies, <laughs> some movie, oh, I was eating was popcorn and God awful food. Anyways, I'm really interested in seeing, uh, reading this book. I really want to read it. Okay, and the this one I picked up, I guess you would call it, well, it's obviously first person, but, um, and it may be, I'm going to try to look for uh, patterns. You know, it's not like, you, you know, talking to your wife or whatever and like intimate details. But w what I want to see is like, remember, he, he didn't start at the beginning of the war. So I, I want to find out, like, was he a little nervous at the beginning? Was he cocky? I know he, he was like Mr. Uh, well, I call him Doug, um, Doug the Raid, uh, the Raid Hague. But um, I was even trying to make a little uh, song about it on the way home. I've done, uh, I've got a couple of verses actually, so I'm pretty good. If I can find out a, yeah, I could probably be a pretty simple melody. I could do it on the, on the tin whistle. Um, like I'm just talking a few verses, but I want to get a chorus, obviously that would be, then you're in. <laughs> All right. Now do you want to get to the dessert, which I wanted to show you at the beginning? Darn it. So, uh, many of you guys know, uh, Clark Commando 1983, Mark, uh, Ruggiero uh, just sends me stuff. Well, he just sent me something out of the blue. And I was just like, oh my God, no idea what was I was going to get. Um, I got, and it was weird. It was interesting. I sent him an email to say thank you so much. Um, I, I opened the bag and I'm like, all these bags, because I can see it's magazines and whatnot. And I'm like, what the hell? Um, but all these baggies start popping out. I'm like, what is going on? There are tons of games in here, man. Tons. And of course, they're not, they're magazine-ish oriented games, I guess. I don't know. I'm, this is early days for me to look. So uh, this came at some point, uh, World War One Illustrated Magazine Backstory by Dana Lombardi. Um, I'm part of um, the World War I Associ uh, Historical Association. I'm a member. They uh, publish uh, World War One il Illustrated, so I'm like, wow, this I don't have any of those issues. I, I'm like a relatively new member. Uh, Twelve small Ziploc bags are provided for the one inch blah blah blah. Uh, for the there are three bags. What the hell per game? This is amazing. Uh, so you can tell how many I got. I got four games. Wicked. Um, yeah, the first one I saw was Russia's Great War. I was like, well, I wasn't expecting a game. I just was like, why are there baggies <laughs> in there? So there you go. To Chris and Joy from Mark. My God, man. How, why do people... That's... I'm not going to go through them all because I'm getting... Uh... Yeah, focus. There you go. Look at this. Assassination in Sarajevo complete game. Of course, it's going to be a little tiny thing, and guess what? This is probably a good thing. Ooh, there we go. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go through it. Oh my god, there's the streets. Look. Holy sh. Okay. Happy. This one, that's when I went, you got to be epic. This is the last one I saw. I went, yes, I can handle this. No problem. No problem. Oh my gosh, I'm like, so, um, sometimes I just don't know what's going on. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Anyways, let's look at that, the Balkan Wars. This is the one I saw, and I went, oh my god, there's a games in these things? Or some of them? Hmm. 
sorry if I'm getting emotional, but uh, uh, like I said, I'll try not to think about it, but um, it's uh, exploring the Great War and meeting every one of you guys has just been a completely unexpected, um, oh, completely unexpected. I just posted that silly video after Zoe Dufour suggested it on YouTube and look what the hell happened with the 540p camera. <laughs> this is the first one I saw. I went sweet. We're taught like we're knee deep in Valda right now. That's not funny. Look at this. Look at that picture. Like, I'm sorry, if you didn't look at maybe the top, or this little, I don't know what you'd call it, um, in some ways, like, it's like, that could be, you know, from, like, even, um, Napoleonic times, really? You look at it quickly enough? Jesus. Yeah, maybe I'll do or whatever, but, um, probably not. <laughs> I'm just, like, amazed. I can't wait to go through these mothers. But actually, I want to uh, pop out a game. I've never done... Um, maybe I'll try a Zeppelin Raider or something crazy. Oh, well, I'll look at them and see which one, uh, you know what I mean, seems to be relatively... Joffre's strategy for 1914 was not... Yeah, I know that. Plan... Um, sorry, 17. <laughs> No, but you had to do what you had to do, man. You were told what to do, and the way you went. I think Foch, uh, at that point, too, was... Uh, well, he was... I think... I'm uh, Like, I don't know the Western Front 1914 very well. Like, I get little bits and pieces. That's about it. You know, I know what's going to happen, because I'm going around again and again and again. But, um, oh my God, it's amazing to think. I barely talk about the French, and they're like, you know... All the like a shitload of fighting is happening on their on their territory, and it's just like I'm just, you know, thinking about this, and like think, thinking about that. But it's well, it's gonna happen. It's always around there, and I've got my friend Peter, or no friend, yeah, friend colleague at, uh, well, obviously work, and um, you know he's Belgian, and he a couple of weeks ago was mentioning. By the way, um, are you gonna be? Um, I'd love you to like find out more about um, Belgians and. Uh, Africa and so on and so forth. I was like, sure, okay, let's go and take a look at. Wouldn't that be weird? Because we've been talking about um, well, the lead up. So maybe I should do something like that. Can the Austrian royal couple survive? Was war inevitable in 1914? You decide in this solitaire and two player game. <laughs> oh my god. So. Clark Commando, 1983. Mark Ruggiero. You are such a wonderful human being. Thank you. Oh, well. And an even better gamer. How's that? Uh, yeah, thank you. So flip. And I was even thinking about you yesterday when... Um, what the hell was I looking at? I was looking at a book and I just realized how much I just... Uh, um, well, actually, I was thinking one of the best inventions ever was the written word and somebody went, hey, let's put this in a book. Um, as a child, like, yeah, I must have got it from my grandmother. She was um, a teacher and she was a book lover. But, and oh, yeah, she gave me like a few books. But other than that, there are no other readers in my family. None. Like, not a single one. Well, except, sorry. Uh, my, what am I saying? Zoe Dufar, for God's sakes. But, no one else. It's weird. Like, I, I, I've always been like, uh, well, it's just, you know, people are wired differently, but I, I've always was like, you know, they would, uh, no, not, I, okay. Not that um, I was, uh, they were not reading books. I think it was more that they were surprised or I don't know what you call it, a little entertained or interested that I read books but were not interested enough to read them themselves. I was like, 
all right whatever like to me i'm just like it's uh you know it's an overflowing ocean of um well it's pre this to me is the mobile phone this to me is um texts this to me is instant message messaging the, like that type of that to me this is it um well, this is the way I like, to, I guess, to um, soak in information. How's that? Other people are differently. They like it like... And I'm just not... Uh, I don't... Um, no. Anyways, yeah, I know I'm babbling, but... Uh, um, wow. Yeah, let's go take a look at that Sarajevo thing. That makes sense. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, actually, no, because I'm about to go off and uh, do the very last turn of the Germans, because I just... I can't. I have to do it.